Well, everybody, we're back at the Ford again, <clears throat> and uh, I got the I got the pulley off, as you can see. Um, I don't, uh, as you remember, the thing that was giving me all this trouble was this uh, this adapter. These bolts were just barely getting in the way of everything, and you can see that there's the spline shaft adapter there. But uh, came out after work today. And it was already starting to irritate me a little bit, but I just gave it a push, just rotate a little bit, and the freaking thing just fell out, fell, fell down. And then I took it out from that uh, that opening right at, right over there. But uh, I don't know how all of the cursing and fiddling and pushing and shoving and knocking I did yesterday. I don't know how that didn't make this thing come out, but. Oh man, am I glad I got this thing off. And uh, after that, after I loosened up the belts, came off the pulley. And then, uh, let's see. Yeah, there was this bolt, this uh, very fine thread short bolt with a flat head slot in it and no hex flats, go figure, I don't know why. Uh, that was holding on this splined hub, which slides onto the splined uh, crankshaft end right in there. It goes on just like so. Just like that. And then this bolt goes through into the middle of the uh, crankshaft, there's a thread of the hole. Now, and then uh, through these four bolt, uh, through these four holes, the pulley lines the it lines up with the holes in the pulley, and then that thing bolts on, so it, it's all held together. Now, I can't see any damaged threads, any damaged splines, any damaged holes. Um, these holes that the uh, bolts ride in, they all seem pretty, that they're not wallowed out or anything, they're not cockeyed. Uh, this thing, I mean, it, it looks pretty straight. I don't know why the camera's kind of overexposing the picture here. But, you know, everything looks good. I don't know why this thing was wobbling. The, uh, this screw bolt thing was loose, so uh, that might have been the source of all the wobbling. I don't know. I don't know why the the uh, the, the damaged shaft caused this thing to back out like you know three turns. But uh, I'll probably grind some some hex flats or so a square flat on here so I can wrench it in instead of using a long screwdriver and. It's just stupid to me. You can't even crank down that hard on this bolt. So I want to be able to tighten it a little bit, put some Loctite on there or something. I don't want this thing backing out again. So that's what I'm going to do. Maybe put a bigger washer on here because this washer just sort of sits in there like that. And uh, I don't, I don't particularly like that. So I'll see if I can find a heftier washer. But. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I got it all apart. I don't see anything really damaged, so I'm just going to, you know, modify this bolt here because I don't particularly like it. And I'll uh, put it all back together with Loctite on these threads and uh, anti-seize on, on these threads. And uh, tighten it all back up. And uh, hopefully it, it shouldn't be wobbling anymore. And then, uh, then I'll straighten out the shaft. I got the shaft sort of straightened, but uh, I got I think I got to use the torch and and uh, heat it up. And then uh, let's see. While I got the camera, I'll show you. I should turn this crappy music down. Here's here's the shaft. Can't really see how it's bent, but it's it's still a little bit bent. And uh, here's one half of the uh, Lovejoy sort of coupling completely broke one of these ears off and uh, here's 
a buddy of mine at work told me this was called a rag joint. He said he had one of the one of these on his Ford truck. You can see how mashed up this thing is. But I'm either going to get a, find a new one of these or get a Lovejoy coupling. Um, if I get a Lovejoy, I might have to make the shaft a little bit shorter because um, just because of those fingers that the Lovejoy has. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Though. If I if I can't find one of these easily, I'll I'll get a Lovejoy and, and go from there. And it, yeah, by the way, this is the hydraulic pump that I took off. It's a Vickers. And the reason why it came off is because stupid me, there was only one bolt holding this thing on. The when I bought it, there wasn't another bolt, and it and it looked all right. And so I said, hey, well, well, whatever. It seems to be working all right. Well, worked all right for about two years, and then when I actually need the tractor to clear the front yard, you know, dig out all sorts of vines and stuff, the uh, the shaft decides to bind up because this thing went a little too cockeyed. Anyway, you live and learn, I guess. Get a couple gray hairs from it too, though. And uh, that's that's all for now.